Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today, we're gonna go over our daily technical analysis update of crude oil and natural gas. Natural gas has been on a tear. Uh, I, I do think it's gonna calm down a little bit in the short term. Uh, we may have a little bit of a pullback, we'll see, because it looks like crude oil, and some of the companies didn't, they didn't all participate in the move higher. So uh, we'll take a look, I'll give you my financial opinion here, and. Uh, We'll dive right in. So here we go. Uh, this is light crude oil futures again. We get these little wicks at the top. Uh, and usually what I see is we might come back a little bit, do a little retest, uh, or come back here and do a retest. Either one of those before I move higher. But this is a pattern that's broken. We've broken it to the upside. We're sitting on top of the pattern. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. And natural gas, it's had one heck of a move. We do have a little wick at the top, a little bit of sellers up here. Sometimes those like to pull back a little bit. Do a little bit of consolidation before a, another move higher. Uh, XOP, yeah, you know me. Uh, break it out of this little pattern to the upside, up 1.9%, still looking good. SM Energy just moving sideways. CDEV, you know, moving sideways. We could come back to this little area back here. That is a bearish en engulfing pattern. Uh, I do expect it to, to make another, this is a low here, another higher low somewhere. I do th expect a little pullback. Crew energy, a little wick at the top. We could get a little bit of a pullback in the short term. Uh, this is Callum Petroleum just moving sideways on top of its support line. Athabasca being strong, breaking out of its pattern to the upside. Looks really good for... A uh, potential move higher eventually. This could, remember, it could pull back a little bit and then another move higher. But again, I don't have, I don't, I don't hold, I don't know the future, uh, but this does look really strong. Recaf moving sideways. It's doing its own thing when it wants. Uh, CPG, Crescent Point moving higher. This is uh, one that looks, I think, pretty good for a big move higher. Northern Oil and Gas. Another one that looks like it's just moving sideways. Again, it's sitting on top of its pattern. Still looking good. Grand Tierra Energy. Actually, let's let's move back here. Let me let me do a little something something here, guys. Man, this is gonna be close. I mean, if we incorporate this guy here, I mean we're 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 consolidating, which potentially right at a resistance area that we could break to the upside here uh, in the short short term then a long term break too um tellurian moving sideways here getting a little bit of selling pressure today we're coming back to the this little the little awesome drawing i have here but just a little bit of selling pressure today <clears throat> pedevco another one just moving sideways uh we've got oasis getting a little bit of buying pressure today still looks good uh, CRK, this is more natural gas related company, little wick at the top, uh, but still, I mean, this has gone vertical. Uh, this is a really good company. It's highly leveraged to the price of natural gas. And uh, yeah, I like that one. Uh, Sand Ridge getting a little bit of uh, selling pressure today at the top. Yeah, we were, what I mean by selling pressure, uh, the momentum, the momentum came all the way up and then it came back down throughout the day. So the momentum's heading a little bit lower. Uh, and that's what those wicks at the top are, the wick of, of the trading day. Uh, Ring Energy. This one was, I think, at support resistance. And we're right at, on top of the support resistance area uh, going across. But it looks good for a potential move higher with time. So this is Surge Energy, a little bit of a... Wick at the top, getting a little bit of selling pressure at the end of the day there. Still looks good, though. Tamarack Valley Energy, another one that's broken out. There's your, your breakout there. Popping higher. Uh, Crescent Energy, still a little bit of a, of a selling pressure day. We could pull back a little bit in the short term. We're trying to break out of this guy here. This is Vermilion Energy, getting our turtle head popping out. Hopefully, we can close above it tomorrow. Meg Energy bouncing off support. Uh, this is bouncing off this long-term support. We could see a big move higher in Meg Energy. 
Looking at energy service companies, they're still continuing to do very well. There we are. Tetra Technologies moving higher, looking good. Uh, we've got Rig moving higher. We've got Pump getting pumped up a little bit. Still looking good. EXTN moving higher uh, on top of its patterns, guys. Everything looks good here. Uh, Valeris still chugging on upward in an uptrend fashion. Uh, MRM of MMA Offshore still looks really good. No, nothing to worry about there. Uh, Tidewater, it looked like this was going to head lower, but no, it, it reversed it quite well and moving on higher. NEX has been an animal, guys. We're at 1138 from three something not that long ago. Uh, KLXE still looking, get a little bit of sideways movement out of this. Uh, CHX, another one that's starting to break to the upside. That looks like we could potentially get a little bit of a run here. WHD still looking good. It's up there quite high. Uh, we've got nine getting a little bit more of a sell off today. Still looks good though. OII breaking to the top side of its pattern above support. Looks good. Noble Energy getting a little bit of sell off at the end of the day there. Uh, we've got Helix Energy Solutions breaking off its pattern to the upside. Still looks fantastic. CGGYY, this guy is putting in that double bottom, looking fantastic. Uh, Petrofax, another one that's got a little bit of momentum to the upside, getting a little bit of selling pressure here. But there's some sellers up there, a little bit. McCoy Global looking good, breaking out. And Diamond Offshore uh, going uh, public, or I should say after, this is after bankruptcy. Still looks good though. And then we've got all the coal. I'm not going to go through the coal today. But, uh, you know, it looks, we might get a little bit of a pullback in the short term in natural gas and oil uh, for the very short term. And I would not be worried about it. I'd be looking at it as a buying opportunity. If you're, if you're part of the website, you know my favorite companies in the oil and natural gas sector. Uh, the ones that I've loaded up on, the ones that I purchased. Uh, we've been buying them the past couple of weeks. So you, you know which ones those are. And if you guys are interested in it, Platinum Membership gets you that information for the Finding Value website. And uh, there's other ones that I'll probably be posting up here shortly for energy service companies of ones that I think that look pretty good uh, to continue. And you guys can have that in front of you if you want to follow it. So uh, if you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to the website, Platinum Membership below. Uh, get you all these picks, get you all the charting, gets all... The, the the Zoom calls, uh, weekly Zoom calls, and I'll probably throw a training up there here shortly uh, as well for the Platinum members. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.